Y'all, this is my third time trying to film this intro and it's not working. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Um, quit looking at me like that. I'm gonna show you guys in this tutorial how to draw noses. I'm gonna show y'all guys. I'm gonna show y'all how to draw noses like these. Now, once again, this is just in my style and how I do them. This is kind of how I do it. So have fun with me. Stay tuned. Let's get to cr get creative. Okay, so without further ado, like I said, this is going to be um, kind of an idea of what we're going to be doing today. But we're going to go ahead and start on a new page. So go ahead and flip over. Now that we have our sheet of paper ready to go, I know this white sheet of paper in front of any artist can be very intimidating. One thing I like to do, just to kind of get over the nerves, is go straight into oil pastel or go straight into paint or whatever you're using. So that's what I'm going to do right now, just to kind of get over the nerves because sometimes when I overthink it, that's when I want to go into too much detail and whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and do some quick sketches of some noses. I'm going to do about four. Um, just to show you guys, you can do them quick, just don't go into too much detail. Okay, now I have all my noses sketched out. Now, let's decide on which one to go to first. Let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, first thing I like to do is I want to go over my dark spots one more time. So I want this to be super dark and this to be super dark. Looking from the side, I like to say it has two balls underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually get a lighter color real quick. So I'm gonna take this lighter blue and make two balls. That's where I want my shine spots to be. Now I decide where I want my shine spots to be actually be. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of outline these two right here. So I want these to be my shine spots and I want this to be kind of a more neutral shine spot. And I'm going to be taking this kind of teal looking blue from the Crayola pack and I'm going to fill this in just a little bit. Shapes. So let's go ahead and do pink because I know pink and this color kind of blends in well together. And I'm going to blend that color outwards from what I just did. I'm going to go in between the shapes this time, and I'm breaking my fingers. Don't forget to break your fingers. Then I'm going to go ahead and take gray and kind of blend this area in just ever so slightly, and also this area. I'm going to fill it in right over here, too, and right over here. And then I'm going to take my pink again and fill in this area over here just the other side of the shine spot on the nose and then I'm going to be taking my lighter teal color and filling in this area right here and I'm also going to be doing a circle right by that shine spot and then same by the pink I'm going to go ahead and take purple and darken this area up just a little bit and so, same with under here then I'm gonna go ahead and take my teal again and rub that purple out then I'm actually gonna take my white and fill this area in over here. Don't forget to brush away any of the residue that you don't like. And then I'm gonna actually take my white again, make sure to wipe it off and highlight those shine spots. But I want a little bit more pink, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in from over here and lightly smooth this area out ever so slightly, but leaving that shine spot by the edge of the nose there. Then I'm going to take my white again and blend into that pink that I just made. And then what I want to do next is I want to add a darkness to the whole piece. So I'm going to take the opposite um, color of the one I laid down, the darker one, which is blue. I'm going to take red and it's going to darken it up ever so slightly. See how it made it a lot darker? And I'm going to blend that red out with a little bit of purple. Alrighty, and there is one nose for you. 
that's going to be kind of like a side profile with a little hump. So let's go ahead and move over to the one on the bottom here. I'm going to start with red because I want this one to be a little bit more abstract and I'm going to make it more of a uh, yellowy color. So I'm going to go ahead and outline it just like I did up top. But I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to make it a little bit more cartoony than the other one. So that was with red. Now I'm going to go in with a yellow. And like I said, I'm going to outline those balls that I was talking about and do my shine spot here. So I'm going to go ahead, same with what we did on top, I'm going to blend that red out. Then I'm going to take a light blue and I'm actually going to go underneath here. I'm going to add just little hints of blue everywhere without touching too much yellow. Then I'm going to take my pink and fill in those side bubble spots there. Just adding some pink everywhere. Next I'm going to take my peachy color and fill in that red, or go on top of that red, just to add a lighter neutral color on top. And then I'm going to go with that same peach color, go over that shine spot. Next I'm going to take some purple and outline that cupid's bow a little bit and go underneath here. I'm going to take this turquoise color and blend right in the middle there. Kind of mix everything else together. Then I'm going to take my white, blend everything out so that nothing looks too harsh. And same with above, I'm going to go ahead and take a darker blue, outline the nostrils real quick, and then take a darker red and go on top of that blue. I'm going to do the same thing with the sides. Then add just a little bit more color in some places, like here. And kind of blend that in just a little bit more. And that's pretty much it for this nose. Let's go ahead and go to the other one. It's just a little bit wider, and let's go ahead and do this one more of a red. Oh my gosh, y'all, y'all see how fast I'm going? Oh my gosh. I about broke my fingers. But for real though, I just put this into speed mode because honestly, I feel like you guys understand I didn't want to bore you with me, you know, talking all slow, thinking I know what I'm talking about. But while I'm going all fast and stuff, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is staying healthy and taking care of themselves, washing your hands, don't be nasty. I do also have an announcement. Those who follow my Instagram, you guys already probably know, but I am having a giveaway. It's a draw in your style giveaway. Feel free to go onto my Instagram at blackbean underscore CMS to find out how to enter you have one more week so you have until the 27th of april and it's gonna be super fun and super nice and i can't wait so originally what had happened was um there was gonna be three winners but then after i got a whole bunch of submissions in i'm like okay i have to do more winners because y'all just so amazing so there are gonna be five total winners now three randomly chosen and two top creative so yeah go on my instagram to see what the prizes are gonna be hold on i'm gonna start talking again to go over that with white now that is optional, you don't have to go over it with white, but you definitely can. So I want this eye to be more of a bluish green, so I'm going to go ahead and take my other blue and do exactly the same thing like I've been doing. I'm back to annoy you, so listen to this. I am so freaking excited to say that I finally hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I have been on YouTube for 10 years. I've posted everything from hair videos to art videos to, to makeup videos, and art has always been my favorite, and I can finally do it with you guys, and I'm so happy. These last few months in the world have just been absolutely crazy, and I'm so glad I can give you guys a distraction, a way to get more creative, and I'm so glad I'm helping some of you. If you guys need any other help, if you guys want me to do any other videos, please let me know. I'm always working so hard to give you guys good content, content. Um, so yeah, let me know. Okay, he's going to start talking again, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I forgot to do an outro, so I'm going to do it right now, so love y'all. And there you have it. This is the last nose. And let's go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see all of them. And there are the noses, you guys. I hope you guys had um, some fun. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I know I'm not the best at explaining myself because I am so kind of 
sporadic, but that's kind of how I do it. This is how you blend noses and make noses. I hope you guys have fun. Turn this into your own style. I hope you guys took something away from this. Um, if you guys want me to do something else, please let me know. Yeah, bye.